Relayer is the seventh studio album from the English progressive rock band Yes, released in November 1974 on Atlantic Records. It is their only studio album recorded with keyboardist Patrick Murrows in the band's lineup. He joined in August that year after Rick Wakeman left over differences regarding tales from topographic oceans to pursue his solo career. Following Wakeman's decision to leave the band, the remaining members proceeded to work on new material for Relayer. The group wrote and rehearsed new songs and proceeded to record in Squire's home in Virginia Water, Surrey. The album saw Yes experiment with elements of funk and jazz fusion. Upon release, Relayer further developed the band's success in the mid-1970s, peaking at number four in the UK and number five in the US. The closing section of The Gates of Delirium, titled Soon, was released as a single in January 1975. The album is certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America. Background In May 1974, after the Tales from Topographic Oceans tour in support of their ambitious double album Tales from Topographic Oceans ended, keyboardist Rick Wakeman decided to leave Yes as he could not understand its concept and disagreed with the musical direction the band took. The band's lineup during this time included singer John Anderson, bassist Chris Squire, guitarist Steve Howe, and drummer Alan White. While the band started writing and rehearsing for Relayer, several keyboardists were auditioned including Greek musician Vangelis. As Phil Carson of Atlantic Records later explained, he came to London and tried out Yes but it didn't really gel. Vangelis wouldn't get on a plane and wouldn't fly anywhere and Yes were about to go on tour. At the suggestion of music journalist and author Chris Welch, the band invited Swiss-born Patrick Moore as a refugee to a tryout session at Squire's home in August 1974. Morris used Vangelis's keyboards for his first session. The band liked what he did, and Morris subsequently joined full-time. Production equals Recording equals Relayer was recorded between August and October 1974 at New Pipers, Squire's then home in Virginia Water, Surrey that he bought in 1972. This marked the first time Yes had recorded a studio album outside London. Eddie Offord assumed his role as the band's engineer and moved his recording equipment into the garage to make a temporary studio. The album's production duties were shared among Offord and the group. The album was then mixed at Advision Studios in London. Relayer has a similar format to Close to the Edge, with one track occupying the side one and two tracks situated on side two. According to Anderson, the band wrote two additional tracks but did not have enough time to record them. One of them was described as absolutely crazy and intricate. Howe uses a 1955 Fender Telecaster on Relayer, marking a departure from his Gibson ES 175 that he had used since the Yes album. He also uses a pedal steel guitar on the Gates of Delirium, and to be over. A pedal steel guitar is also used in certain parts of Sound Chaser, as seen in live footage. Squire uses a Fender bass guitar on to be over. Morris uses a number of keyboards that are not found on other Yes albums, including a custom-built Varco orchestron, a polyphonic synthesizer. Equals songs equals, The Gates of Delirium is a 22-minute track that Anderson described as a war song, a battle scene, but it's not to explain war or denounce it, really. There's a prelude, a charge, a victory tune, and peace at the end, with hope for the future. Murrows recalled discussing War and Peace and Leo Tolstoy with Anderson as they both read the book, after which Murrows showed Anderson a French science fiction comic book with Delirious in the title. Murrows said, he related to it immediately so I think that perhaps as a title The Gates of Delirium came from that. Anderson and White stopped by a scrapyard and bought metal car parts which were used as percussion during the song's battle section. During the battle section, White formed a tower of the parts and pushed it over to make a crashing sound. The track concludes with a gentle melody and a lyrical prayer for peace which later became known as Soon. Sound Chaser displays Yes' experiment with jazz fusion and funk influences. During Marissa's audition session with the band, he was asked to play an introduction to the song which ended up on the album. He has called his Moog synthesizer solo at the end of the track a highlight moment but felt the keyboards on the rest of the album buried in the final mix. 
to be over features more melodic arrangements of guitar and electric sitar and relatively straightforward lyrics. Anderson described the track as strong in content, but mellow in overall attitude. It's about how you should look after yourself when things go wrong. When the song's lyrics were being written, Howe suggested to have the line She won't know what it means to me follow we go sailing down the calming streams, but Anderson changed it to To be over we will see, a change that Howe thought was creatively disguised to make a broader lyrical statement. Morris felt constricted to perform an improvised keyboard solo for the song, so he wrote down a counterpoint solo exactly like a classical fugue to blend his keyboards with the guitar and bass. Equal sleeve design equals, the album's sleeve was designed and illustrated by English artist Roger Dean, who had designed artwork for the band since 1971. Speaking about the cover in 2004, Dean said, I was playing with the ideas of the ultimate castle, the ultimate wall of a fortified city. That was more of a fantastical idea. I was looking for the kinds of things like the Knights Templar would have made or what you'd see in the current movie Lord of the Rings. The curving, swelling cantilevers right into space. The images depicted in many of Dean's album covers set another worldly tone and are an identifiable part of the band's visual style. For Relayer, the warriors on horseback reflect the lyrical themes of war present in the Gates of Delirium. The sleeve includes an untitled poem by writer Donald Lamekeel dated October 1974. The album CD reissue features two additional paintings by Dean. Release Relayer was released in the UK on November 28, 1974 during their 1974 Euro 75 tour of North America and the UK. Its US release followed on December 5 that year. The album continued the band's commercial success in the 1970s. It peaked at number 4 in the UK and number 5 on the US Billboard Top LPs chart. The closing section of The Gates of Delirium, titled Soon, was released as a single on January 8, 1975 with an edited version of Sound Chaser on the B-side. The album is certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America. Equals reception equals, Relayer received a mostly positive reaction from music critics. Music journalist and author Chris Welch gave a positive review for Melody Maker, praising the album as one of the most successful and satisfying Yes albums. He described The Gates of Delirium as a powerful piece, and benefits by the time strictures imposed by this single album. Welch continued to note the band at their best, creating tension and release with consummate ease, and preparing the way for John's crystalline vocals at the end of the battle section which segs into soon. In its December 1974 review, Billboard magazine called Relay are another nearly flawless effort by Yes and noted Morris fits in perfectly. It concluded with one of the simpler, yet at the same time, one of the most workable sets the band has come up with. Those who gave the album a negative review thought it was the follow-up to Tales from Topographic Oceans, an album they felt was pretentious and overblown. In a retrospective review for Olmusic, William Ullman rated the album three stars out of five. He thought since Yes had little incentive to curb their musical ambitiousness at the time, the album alternated abrasive, rhythmically dense instrumental sections featuring solos for the various instruments with delicate vocal and choral sections featuring poetic lyrics devoted to spiritual imagery. Howe described the music on Relay as very modern, European style of music, and Patrick brought in a South American flavor as well. It was a very international record. Squire thought some of the interaction between his bass and White's drums was better than anything heard on previous Yes albums at that point. Morris summarized the album's recording as pretty loose, but the energy is there. Equals reissues equals, Relayer was first reissued on CD in Europe and the US in 1988 by Sterling Sound. In 2003, the album was digitally remastered on Rhino and Elektra Records which included single edits of Soon, and Sound Chaser, and a studio run-through of the Gates of Delirium with less keyboards and alternate song structures and parts but an identical battle section as heard in the final version. 2009 saw the album remastered by Aizawa Kikuchi for the Japanese market. The 2003 remastered edition was included in the band's The Studio Albums 1969 a Euro 1987 box set, released in 2013. In November 2014, 
Relayer was reissued as CD DVD audio and CD Blu ray disc packs on the Panegyric label with new stereo and 5.1 surround sound mixes by Stephen Wilson. The packs feature bonus tracks including an original master transfer and studio run through versions of each track. The Blu ray disc includes an instrumental mix of the album. This is the third Yes album reissued by Panegyric following Close to the Edge and the Yes album. Certifications Track listing, all tracks written and arranged by John Anderson, Chris Squire, Steve Howe, Alan White and Patrick Morris, except where noted. Track durations are absent on the original UK vinyl but were included on the original US edition. Personnel, Yes a Euro production, arrangements, John Anderson a Euro lead vocals, Steve Howe a Euro acoustic and electric guitars, vocals, Patrick Morris a Euro keyboards. Chris Squire a Euro bass guitar and vocals, Alan White a Euro drums, percussion, additional personnel, Eddie Offord a Euro engineer, production, Gunero Rippo a Euro tape operator, Roger Dean a Euro sleeve design and illustration, Brian Lane a Euro coordinator, Gene Ristry a Euro photography. References, Notes, Footnotes, Bibliography <laughs>